We're back at RyeWire uh, here with Ryan, and it's September 24th. So, Ryan, we literally got five weeks to get your EK done for SEMA. It's going to be in the CSF cooling booth. We were here six weeks ago, and you were just finishing or kind of in the middle of your EG. That car is done. But, uh, you know, now you're out to your, I would say, your higher level project, right? This is an all-wheel drive right. EV EK. So if you could break this down for us, love to hear where you're at and what's going on with the system. Yeah, I think when you guys were here last, uh, the EG was kind of looking like this. It might have been a little bit more put together. Uh, but now we're here. And this system is way more complicated. This is my EK build. This one is CSF Red, right? That's yeah. Cool. So this is Honda Red, this is R81. This has two motors in it. It has a motor in the front. This motor package looks very, very similar and is very similar to the EG, uh, but it also has the addition of a whole nother motor in the back. Okay, so this is this massive Tesla drive unit that you were telling us, right? So, so you have that's, batteries here, correct? That's the battery, yep, yep, yep. And then underneath those batteries is another Tesla drive unit. It looks pretty similar to the one in the front, but it's just mounted in the back and it's driving the rear wheels. Uh, this is a custom made floor that you've obviously put together and yep. this is where the batteries are gonna go? Right, so this is an 85 kilowatt pack and it is uh, the Tesla modules. I chose those because they were super low profile and I can actually fit those into the floor of this car. Yeah, it's really cool because like, if you look at it, you can see how like minimal the clearance is between the seat rail and where the batteries are gonna go, right there. So um, yeah, that's uh, it's a pretty slim profile design. Yeah, it really helps with packaging. Uh, this is a big pack, it's 85 kilowatts. It's a lot to cram into this tiny car. Like, trust me, we're definitely adding a good amount of weight, but it's an, like if you compare it to other 85 kilowatt dual motor cars, this car's still gonna be light. So, you know, talking about weight, we were just uh, talking about the suspension and you got KW V3s on here. Yep. Uh, you're suggesting that you're probably gonna change the spring rates just to deal with all that extra weight from the two motors? Yeah, I'm definitely going to corner balance yeah. the car and get it all squared away and make sure uh, that, you know, I mean, think about other cars that the dynamics of the, you know, a lot of weight in the rear, like a Porsche Turbo or something like that. Uh, we just have to set the suspension up right, you know. And Those, then you got these brand new or refinished spoon brakes. Those are yep, pretty cool. Yep, spoon calipers You're on there. Definitely going to need some big brakes to, uh, you know, stop with all the additional weight. Yep. Um, and then down here, this is a lot different than the video that we put out six weeks ago. So uh, talk to us about this T setup for all the water the cooling that's happening with the vehicle. All right, so this is still kind of a work in progress, and it's kind of ugly. But what I did here is I just had to strategize all these different little cooling valves and what they're doing is they're actually maximizing cooling and sending cooling to different places with this tiny radiator so on top of that you might think well man that's a lot that's actually a kind of a small radiator for dual motors and batteries but we also have in addition to that not just an AC system for the driver but this is also an AC system for the car what it's basically doing is my AEM VCU will control have full control, I don't have to do anything, but there's a little expansion uh, chiller here. And what, what's gonna happen is water has the option to go through this chiller and then there's Freon that's gonna be in between this. So it's gonna be like a Freon zap, if you will. So if you need a little extra, you know, you wanna put it into quote unquote ludicrous mode, if you wanna call it that, uh, where you're gonna do like a quick hit, you could actually the, you could press a button, the VCU will strategize, turn on the chiller and then it'll zap the drive unit's cool, and then they'll be to maximum proper temperature to do like a drag launch or something like that. So you said because this has got so many of the batteries in this vehicle that this is gonna do about 250, 300 mile range? Uh, probably 350. There's oh, a wow. chance it could even get like 400 if I dial in my arrow and stuff. Wow, so this is a 400 mile range EK, completely restored, beautiful red. Um, you know, you've really kind of leveled up with the engineering especially compared to what you've done with the white one which is already an incredible build yeah and uh i know you got a lot of work to do you're five weeks away from sema a lot of body panels to come back obviously you got to finish all the plumbing interior how do you feel you feel like you're gonna nail this i feel like i'm gonna nail it i def i've never had a car that hasn't run at sema before and i'm really trying hard to uh keep that tradition so cool well ryan thanks for showing us uh stick along we're gonna be giving you a little bit more progress updates as we get closer to sema and uh, for more information, check it out with RyeWire.